The big question out there for so many people and for so many economists is how can the U.S. create jobs? President Obama has been pushing to get a small business uh, tax break. The stimulus program has spent billions of dollars, but the unemployment rate is still unfortunately near 10 percent. Our next guest, though, says letting in foreign investors may be key. Robert Kimmett served as Deputy Treasury Secretary during the Bush administration. He's currently chairman of FDI Capital, and he joins me now from our Washington bureau. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Uh, the good question, morning, Margaret. The question of foreign businesses, I mean, you, you listen to a lot of political rhetoric out there, and you would think that when you're looking at foreign companies, the, the worry is American jobs being outsourced. But you're saying foreign investors need to be coming here more to create jobs in the first place. Uh, Margaret, it's clear that most of the jobs in the United States are going to be created by American businesses, especially small and medium-sized enterprises. But today, five and a half million Americans already work for companies headquartered overseas. That's roughly four and a half percent of our private workforce, but it accounts each year for 20 percent of our exports. And interestingly, almost 40 percent of those jobs are in manufacturing, whereas less than 13 percent of the overall economy is in manufacturing. So I think it's important that we send the signal that we're open to investment coming into the United States, just as we expect countries overseas to be open to U.S. investors. So what is it that you think is keeping more foreign direct investment from coming here to the U.S.? In an editorial you recently wrote, uh, you point out that the U.S. share of global FDI is now only about half of what it was 20 years ago. Why? Well, I think, first of all, part of it is that the rest of the world economy is growing. We've seen particular growth in Asia and in other emerging markets. I think that's a good thing because that does create opportunities for U.S. companies overseas. But Margaret, these investment decisions, cross-border investment decisions, happen at that intersection where business, finance, and government meet. And what I hear from investors around the world is real questions about the public policy component. Is their investment welcome in the United States? Uh, what do they have to do to go through regulatory approval processes? Right. So as companies do their diligence, they need to do effective diligence, not just on the business and financial, but also the public policy components of their deals. Well, the most public uh, example or experience of foreign direct investment, the controversy around, is what happened in 2006 when Dubai World, investment arm of that government, tried to buy six ports here in the United States. It became mainstream front page news, and fear uh, was really uh, prominent in that discourse about that. Are you saying that, that CFIUS, that the board who, who regulates who's allowed to come and open up a shop, should be changed? No, um, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., CFIUS, um, is authorized to act under a law that was passed after Dubai ports, the Foreign Investment National Security Act. I think that's a good law. I think CFIUS uh, has done a good job of screening that small number of cases that might raise security concerns. And let me emphasize small number. In an average year in the United States, there are 10,000 M&A deals, mm -hmm. of which roughly 2,000 are cross-border. And in an average year, no more than 150 cases go before CFIUS. So one of the things that I tell foreign investors is seek to reduce your regulatory risk and if there are opportunities that don't require a security review, that's where your analysis should begin. Well, America has one of the highest corporate tax rates in the world. Should that be lowered? Um, I personally would like to see the U.S. corporate tax rate reduced. Most importantly, however, I think we need to remove regulatory and taxation uncertainty. Right now, there is a lot of money coming off the sidelines. I'd like the U.S. to get at least its fair share, if not more. And I think reducing regulatory uncertainty and having the most favorable tax environment uh, would be very beneficial. And by the way, not just for attracting foreign investment, but for us to grow jobs in the U.S. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much. It's, it's an interesting point. We wanted to consider it. We appreciate your time, sir.